USA Today is keeping track of the news surrounding COVID-19 as vaccines begin to roll out nationwide. Just this week, the US marked the stark milestone of more than 17 million cases and 300,000 deaths since the beginning of the pandemic. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates on vaccine distribution, including who is getting the shots and where, as well as other COVID-19 news from across the USA Today network. Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates directly to your inbox, join our Facebook group or scroll through our in-depth answers to reader questions for everything you need to know about the coronavirus. A second COVID-19 vaccine has been authorized for emergency use in the US by the Food and Drug Administration. Trucks will begin moving the vaccine this weekend, with the first of 5.9 million already manufactured Moderna shots expected to be given on Monday. Both vaccines carry a remote chance of causing a severe allergic reaction. As the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccinations begin ramping up, the FDA is looking into five in the US, including a severe reaction in Alaska. In Turkey, a fire broke out at an intensive care unit treating COVID-19 patients after an oxygen cylinder exploded, killing nine people. President-elect Joe Biden and his wife, Jill, will be getting their first dose of the coronavirus vaccine on Monday, according to Biden's incoming press secretary, Jen Psaki. Among high-profile politicians to receive the vaccine Friday, Vice President Mike Pence, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. California has emerged as one of the most lethal hotspots in the nation currently, leading to scenes reminiscent of New York City in the spring. ICU capacity has dropped to 0% at hospitals in Southern California, state data showed. Federal officials closed the Washington Monument to visitors on a temporary basis beginning Friday after U.S. Interior Secretary David Bernhardt, who led a private tour of the monument this week, tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. Anti-lockdown sentiment is featured prominently in a major music collaboration. Van Morrison crafted an anti-lockdown tune with Eric Clapton. Proceeds from Stand and Deliver will go to Morrison's Save Live Music campaign benefiting those working in the music industry in the UK and Ireland. Minnesota State Senator Jerry Relf, who represented the city of St. Cloud, died on Thursday. Relf's wife Peggy Broker Relf released a statement late Friday evening confirming his death. I'm heartbroken to share that my husband, Jerry Relf, has passed away and entered his heavenly home, Broker Relf said in the statement. He was exposed to COVID-19 in early November and tested positive on November 13. His cause of death remains unknown. Nora G. Hurdle, St. Cloud Times Americans will soon have access to a second COVID-19 vaccine after Stephen Hahn, Commissioner of the U.S.